Hello and welcome to Experiential Learning Lesson 10. Today's topic is knowing your personality. My name is Eloise and I am from Durban campus. Today your goal is to practically apply key self-knowledge concepts to a case of your choice, summarize important information, convey the most important information in a limited amount of time, present your findings and analysis to your peers, engage in group discussions on the chapter char character profiles of respective leaders, and learn from your peers' perceptions and thought processes on the subject matter. As a recap for lesson number nine, please share your preferred method for stress management with the class and we can hopefully learn from each other and uh, develop new strategies for our own stress management. Remember to use to-do lists and they will ensure that you have a productive week and feel a sense of accomplishment as you tick off your items. Have you started your formative assessment? Do you have a plan in place to complete it? In the previous lesson, you were asked to bring a newspaper, magazine or online article of an individual in a leadership position that you admire. And now we need that article in order to complete today's activities. So your goal is to sell your leader to the group in just 30 seconds. This is called an elevator pitch. So think about the amount of time you have in an elevator and uh, the idea came from the, uh, the concept of being caught in an elevator ride with somebody who has an opportunity for you to network with and the, then you would only have the duration of that, uh, the lift, <laughs> to use a South Africanism, to convince them that you are worth working with or investing in. So you need to grab the audience's attention or grab the networking opportunity's attention and clearly and succinctly so succinct means very brief very tight clear not vague not waffling clearly and succinctly explain why this person is an excellent leader and make the listeners wish that they could be led by such a person once everyone in the group has presented the elevator pitch on their leader then you are going to select which leader that you are going to analyze and then as a group, you're going to develop a character profile for the leader. So the profile needs to cover their personality, worldview, values, key skills, goals, emotional intelligence, and time and stress, stress management skills. So what we do not want you to do is just Google Nelson Mandela character profile. What we want you to do is consider what you know about this person and the way that they behave and the things that they've said and done and based on that to try and deduce this character profile. And you can use research to come up with examples that would help you fill that information in. But if you just come with a list uh, that's plainly from the internet, then you're not really doing any kind of analysis. You're just doing a Google and hitting the first result. So that's not very helpful for the purposes of achieving your learning outcomes. Once you have analyzed your leader, you're going to stand up and present the leader's character profile to the class. You can use keywords and illustrations on a flipboard page as a visual aid for the presentation. Sharing examples of the behavior demonstrates that you understood the activity objectives and analyzed the leader. In the next lesson, you will continue to present the leader character profiles. You'll also have a chance to discuss the remaining theory in chapter two pertaining to career paths. Good luck and goodbye.